immoral policies that Trump implemented was ripping children from their mother and families at the border and then sticking those kids in cages indefinitely while they shipped their families back to South America, oftentimes not even the country they came from. One of the architects of the child separation program, Chad Wolf, is already shopping around for his next gig. It did uh, when it came to migrants coming across the border. You were involved in the family separation policy that ultimately under Trump would take more than 3,000 children away from their families. Um, and it was immortalized by this audio that was captured by uh, ProPublica. Let's watch. No llores. Vas a llegar con... Mira, ella te va a explicar y te va a ayudar. Uh, I mean, should you really be in a position of critiquing what's going on this, in this administration when your administration was literally ripping children away from their parents? Well, absolutely. So, look, I think it's important. Absolutely to, what? Absolutely. It's important to keep in mind. Absolutely. I have a view on what should be occurring now. I remember being at a lunch in 2019 with Congresswoman Barbara Lee, and she confessed that 3,000 of the kids, at least 3,000, they had no idea where they had shipped their parents. It was sickening. I mean, it's still sickening. But at the time, I thought it was enough of a story to awaken some of the self-described Christians who were in this MAGA fever dream of fascism. So I try to open a dialogue with some of the extended members in my family, the self-described Christians, right? And what was I met with? Well, Obama built the cages. These are people that spend a large portion of their time letting everyone around them know how religious they are and how devout they are. And yet when I asked them about putting kids in cages, their first response wasn't, that's terrible, it goes against the testament of Jesus Christ. No, what was it? Obama did it first. Thanks, Obama. First off, Obama built those cages, because they are cages, there's no getting around that. But they built them for unaccompanied minors who made it across the border, and maybe their family died on the way, or they paid coyotes to bring them unaccompanied minors. There was a law that the kids couldn't be in there for longer than 48 hours. And during this time, the government was looking for the closest akin or legal remedies to help these kids out. Obama having the lowest border crossings in 20 years wasn't enough for Trump. He needed video, he needed pictures to gin up his racist base and push forth his fascist agenda. So he intentionally broke the border. He slowed everything down, moved all processing into Mexico, and this gave Breitbart, Tucker, Laura Ingram the fuel they needed and a narrative that's just disgusting where they call it an infestation. I know that the left and all the little gatekeepers on Twitter become literally hysterical if you use the term replacement. If you suggest that the Democratic Party is trying to replace the current electorate, the voters now casting mm. ballots, with new people, more obedient voters from the third world. Let's just say it, that's mm. true. I mean, everyone wants to make a racial issue out of it. Ooh, the, you know, white replacement theory. No, no, no. Kids were no longer guaranteed to get out of the cage in 48 hours. Trump was keeping them in there weeks, some of them months. Trump and Chad Wolf were forcing three-year-olds to defend themselves in court. Three-year-olds without an attorney. I, I wish I was joking. It is indeed the role of the fascist to be both the aggressor and the victim simultaneously. It's how they sell the preemptive attacks on other families and breaking up those families with the notion that they are somehow protecting our families. Religion is fluid to the fascists and reverts to political identity when in conflict with morality. So when a religious right Christian is asked about their beliefs on tearing babies from their moms, they can easily swap out Jesus. They can easily deconstruct him and in his place put these contemporary politicians which they've built up in a cult of personality. Religious belief is no longer used to guide the religious right in this country. Jews an excuse. Chad the Chud.